Oh. I can't resume? Okay. Skip.
have another clean lap. Or another fast one at least. Alright, let's set a couple things. A couple buttons. Um, in fact... Let's see if this shit works correctly now. Um, why would I want gain at a hundred fucking percent? That's not what it used to be at. Dynamic damping. That might help with how, like, it, it's fighting me and it feels clippy as hell as it does it. I'm going to crank that up to, like, 50 just to see what it might change. Um, all right. Starter, circle, pit limiters unassigned. I think I have that set to auto anyway. Um, so what I want, oh, this cycles a display. I didn't pay attention when I pressed it. I'm going to pay attention to my HUD and see what shows up. Um, increase traction control. I'll just make it the up button. Decrease down. Whoops. No, I did not mean to do that. I don't think cross was anything before. Um, increase traction control cut. I'm not sure what that is. Like, is that like short for cutoff or something like that? Is that how hard the traction control interferes? I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. Increase ABS. Um, we'll do left and right for that. You know what I should have done? I should have checked to see if anything was already using the cross keys, to be honest with you. I don't think anything is, though. Nope, nothing is. Cool. Scroll back up. There we go. Decrease to the left. Ah, fuck. Where can I increase and decrease brake bias? Why isn't there just, like, a heads-up display that pops up with this? I don't have enough buttons on my controller for all my steering wheel for all this like, yeah, fuel map. None of that shit. Alright. Look back. I'm going to sign that to L2 so it's familiar to me. Um, Cycle HUD MFD. Ta-da! Found it. You... Um... Square's already assigned to something. Um, we'll do R2 and see what happens. We'll see what happens. Save, replay, highlight. Okay, these are the individual TC settings that I don't care about. <laughs> Thank you! By the way, why do I, I still don't know how to say your name. ONS? ONS? ONS. ONS. I think that's everything that I want to assign for now. Have I assigned cross to something? No, I have not. Um, cycle light stages. Boom. All right. Ooh, I'm excited. Set up. All right. Preset name. Do I need to name and save this? I hope not. Alright. Arquin! Seven months of subscription. I think that's a record. That might be a record. I'm not sure. People don't stick around. You know why? Because I, I had trouble with consistency. Which is better. Oh shit! I forgot that I was literally in the middle of it. Shifting too quick there. I think that's what that pause is because I missed it again. 
it went to fourth gear, but then it would not go down to third um, for a second. So I need to be cognizant of that. Maybe break a little earlier. Oh, where are we going? How my time? The game is loud compared to me. It's loud. Let's go put the volume down. Everything's at a hundred percent. <laughs> Master volume. Let's bring it down to 70. I thought it was just loud for me because my headphones were up. How is that? Ah, break sooner, Tati. How? Oh, you know what? I know exactly how. said how well I do will determine my um you know what uh, I do want is it the game that I want down up you know what let me try let me see what minimum force does cuz I'm I'm looking for more now oh okay that only what Okay. <laughs> Let's turn that up halfway to what it does and, and see what happens. Um, yeah. I think I want that damping up too, but I'm going to leave it alone for now. Because it's still, the force I do get still feels clippy. It feels like, you know, really jarring. too loud heard let's just go way down confirm Break too early that time. Okay. Oh god, Tati, please. It's still happening to me. How are you liking your realistic PowerPoint slideshow? I don't mind it. But, uh... Seems there's a lot more ways to, uh, fuck up... the car than in GT Sport, which, I mean, I guess I expected.
I breaked even earlier that time. Tati, please. Minimum force, I think, added some of the weight that I was looking for. But I don't think it was all of it. So let me turn the gain up by 10. And then... Actually, first, I'm more interested in this first. I'm going to leave the gain alone. I'm more interested to see if this dynamic damping does what I want it to do. Because, like, my wrists are getting numb at this point. Because the the vibrations and shit that you're getting from the force feedback are just kind of rough. Oh, the session is over, so I fucking suck. Whoa, I'm still in control. I'm still in control. I'm still in control. Okay, I didn't realize. Ugh! Oh my god, they are not going to hire me. No one is going to hire me. Press cross button to end session. Can I, can I do that again? I came in dead last to the AI, bruh. Please, send help. Continue, oh, restart. Hey, yes, I, I do really wanna restart it. And be nicer to my wrist, please. Like, I'm literally having to shake these things out right now after just a few laps. Shut up, Ellie. I'm not used to that shit. Okay, as a winner, I'm not used to coming in last. All right. Now I know that's something that you might settle for in your life. Welcome to the Lamborghini youngster program. Today you are given a seat in the Lamborghini Huracan Superfile. Our team will look at your best lap on track and dry conditions. Complete at least two safe and valid laps, and then start pushing. Good luck. All right, two safe and measured laps, guys, and then I start pushing. Talking all that shit from some place where you ain't got no PlayStation. Far for the course. Let me talk all this shit that I don't have to defend. Okay, um, I made something worse. Um, so you go back to where you were. In fact, let's go the opposite direction because maybe that's what I want to be at. Let's go all the way down to 30. 
cause some some ain't right. Oh, uh, why are you breaking so early? Wrong cue. Wrong cue. I was looking at the wall for my breaking point. over there. <laughs> Shut up, Kenny. I'm a youngster. Youngster. for the breaking point <laughs> and I looked up and I saw the 50 marker coming up please send help I gotta drive four clean laps let's try to get one of four here about the pause again. going so well before. I thought I saw a card. Shut up, Kenny. This is for my career, okay? This is where they put me. This is where I race. Period. Is 
steering that stiff or is it you? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by stiff, but I definitely still have adjustments to make to steering. Um, and of course feedback. But I don't want to spend all my time on that today. I feel like I'm getting a lot more vibration out of the wheel now than I was before. And I'm like, did I break something? And how do I see if I did? Ah, come on. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? the steering um if what you mean is like how slow it is the steering does feel a lot slower than it does in gt sport but uh i can adjust both the lock and uh, the linearity if i want to what the hell yeah i don't know i'm not even sure how i lost it there Actually, this is worth two planes. Do y'all hear my wheel as I turn left and right here? Oh shit, sorry! Oh, <laughs> um, I'm doing great, and that would be a great addition to this team. I feel. I'm gonna go ahead and restart this. Um, yeah. I feel like y'all should hire me as a driver because like I don't suck at this and like I'm really fast um I'm I'm very very easy on the car you lost it by going right in a left-hander you shut your mouth I didn't go right in a left-hander my mid-engine car went right in the left-hander <laughs> Oh, right. Um, you know, I didn't figure out how to get that safe preset going. Like, how to make sure that I was on it. Like, I, I can't tell what my current setup is, quite frankly. I can see, like, what they would have as an aggressive preset, as you can see here. But then I don't have any way to save it or confirm it. Like, I can confirm it here. And that just puts me into the setting if I press X if I hit load save like I have this safe preset here quote unquote but I don't know if it actually worked or not so I'm a little confused about what my setup is I'm gonna leave that alone and I'm gonna just drive Green light. Go, go, go. oh but I do want to mess with this again um, I'm turning you down Actually, no, I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to turn you up by like 15% um, and see what I get. I still don't know what brake gamma is. No clue. Just none. So there's that. Welcome to the Lamborghini Youngster Program. Today, you are given a seat in the Lamborghini Huracan's Petrofile. Our team will look at your best lap on track in dry conditions. Complete at least two safe and valid laps in the stop machine. Good luck. Uh, why, what, why wouldn't you downshift? I fucking hate, like, this... I know why it's there. I know it's to protect the engine. 
but I need to start remembering it. That pause from fourth, when you're downshifting from fourth to third, like, it'll just ignore the input for a second. Meanwhile, you were relying on it for engine braking. Yeah, it's downshift protection, and I need to remember it. So, okay, gain has given me more... What I, what I thought it would give me. Um, just way more feedback. And I'm not so much interested in way more feedback. Actually, yeah, maybe a little bit more. We'll put that there. I'm more interested in the weight of it. I'm not giving... You know what? This might be what's annoying me. I forgot about road effects. I'm going to cut that in half. Because something's just giving me severe vibration, and it could just be that Monza's not that smooth. Right? Um, let's go find out. <laughs> right. GTS. Uh, you're in the wrong part of the track. I thought I was in a whole different corner. Slowly, slowly. I definitely need a lot more steering input than um then in GTS that I can see. Which I don't really mind. Imagine being so bad that you can't even complete two consecutive outlaps to begin the two additional hot laps to complete the opening segment to start your racing portfolio on career mode. You're such a hater. I'm going to get great at this. And then don't be trying to come play with me in my lobbies when you decide you want to buy the game. You're not invited. Come on. So this toggles, okay, yay. Turning TCS down. Don't do that, Tati. don't do that, leave that alone. <laughs> okay, break early for turn one, noted. These brakes actually surprise me at the, like, the upper limit. I need to learn to trust them. so busy looking at the fucking MFD. <sighs> really? Am I just able to drive out of the gravel trap this easy? Oh, okay. I like that. All 
All right, I'm gonna look at this MFD while we're on the straight, and then I'm gonna start the session again. Jesus Christ, that sucks. Why do y'all watch me? Um, imagine coming all the way over here to turn your pit limiter on and off. Why did that go away? Fuel to add. Uh, Okay, so you get all this for pitting, for pit stop options. I do like that it also shows you, let me go back to that. It shows you the weather um, at the time, the type of track, ooh, and track temp as well, the wind. That's cool. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, restart. Because your fails are hilarious and come in a higher frequency than others, so it makes for good content. I see. Excellent. Excellent work. <sighs> oh, we're loaded. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. Welcome to the Lamborghini Youngster Program. Today, you are given a seat in the Lamborghini Huracan Supertrofile. Our team will look at your best lap on track in dry conditions. Complete at least two safe and valid laps, and then start the show. Good okay. Luck. I feel like I'm ready now. I don't know why that was my chosen line. But it was. Fighting me! These turns are killing your soul. It's all good. 
I'm obviously not. No, don't do that. No. God damn it. I hit the fucking sausage curve. Not doing well. I love that you can hear all the gravel as it's still making its way out. That's kind of dope. That's actually really dope. So, definitely don't fuck with the sausages here. It's not forgiving. God damn. Here a little bit easier now. A little bit. The slower instances of it. I gotta figure that out. Sausage curve alone. Leave it alone. Good girl. That felt so slow though. I'm so used to like kind of cheating that. <laughs> like cheating it a little bit, a little bit. I mean, I know you can't just like crash into the sausage curve however you feel, but I'm used to being able to fuck with it because GT Sport is pretty forgiving. Okay, is that. Is that a clean lap? Can I have my second clean lap? No? Okay. I feel like that should have counted. I'm not sure why it didn't, but I'm not, okay. It was the fastest. Which I don't think I've ever even been able to be faster than the AI yet. And the answer was no. I just felt like I was always breaking too early for, for Ascari. For the Parabolica, rather. Um, and I might still be. I think maybe I just break too late on that one. So, we'll, we'll experiment with it again. Uh, car. What the hell was that lag? Like, what? What? Try to get on the gas and I had nothing. 
Not like a lot. I mean, I just wanted a little bit of a... A blip, if you will. Oh, Jesus. This FPS. <laughs> Honestly. Validated the lap. Damn. Wait. I had to do four in a row, and I fucked that up. Uh -huh. There's 20 seconds left. Oh, I know, Kenny. Multiplayer is going to be a nightmare. Oh, shit. Still oversteering. Still. Well, I didn't get the clean laps. Um, I don't know that that will fail me. I don't remember what, what all the criteria were. Um, I guess I'll continue career. Fuck it. Let's just see what it, like, what, what do you, what do you say? I'm tired of doing this event, basically. Multiplayer has massive ping issues and terrible netcode. Alright, so I'll be staying away from that for a while. Um... Preliminary tests suggest the following difficulty presets for your career mode. Hard. Okay. AI level. AI skill. Fast. Driving assists allowed. Clutch. Engine start. Wipers. Lights. Pit limiter. What are the options? Pro. AI skill is real. I want real AI skill. What? Alright. Alright. Whatever. Whatever. All right, test two, light rain. Oh no, I don't know how to do this. Drive assist, yeah, yeah. I don't wanna care about any of that shit. Realism, damage rate, 100%. Set the rate of vehicle damage in single player game modes. Uh, I suggest easy, fuck you guys. Probably, but fuck you. Tire fuel consumption enable. Tire sets limited. Don't limit my fucking tire sets. Don't limit my fucking tire sets. Let me have as many tires as I want. Okay, but let's see. Each car is limited to use different um, given number of tire sets and race weekend or slicks. Adding further depth to the importance of racing strategies and driving styles. Tire set strategy can be set on the car setup stream. What do y'all think I should go for? I mean, limited is real. I guess. Brake temp. Yup. Give me that. I like that. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why not? Fun. I was going to read all that, and I realized I don't want to read all that out loud. Uh, penalties. Yes. I like making things harder for myself. Cause when it's like super easy and I beat it, I'm like, okay, I don't feel great about this. What am I, 12? So I started it hard and worked my way up to the skill level needed. Damn, Ellie, you should try it sometime. Don't just give up so easily. All right, it's time to show how well you can perform under rainy conditions. Not well at all. The team needs to gauge your ability to drive in traffic under wet conditions and stay away from trouble. Your target is to complete this session without cuts, accidents, or off-track excursions. Bruh. Although you will be evaluated best on your best lap, remember, avoiding cuts and crashes and clean driving are the top priority to succeed. Okay. We're with the wet setup, right? Right? Can I just say I got this and that's my setup? Please? Please. 
I'm not gonna mess with it. Alright, let's go. Green light, give it all you can. Your second test is under wet conditions. Just focus on setting your best lap in this heavy rain and bring the car back in one piece. Bye guys! So I don't race in the wet ever, mostly, like in any game, so whew, I have no clue what the fuck I'm doing. People say take the wet line. I don't know what the fuck the wet line is, all right? Like, no clue. I mean, yes, I can look at the track and try to find spots that aren't as wet, but that's all I know to do. You should have probably break a bit sooner. No, actually, you were good. Okay. All right. Noted. Breaking distance, not that bad. I'm still going to take this first lap or even the second lap super slow just to really get an idea of what the hell the car's going to do. Because I don't know. Control is cutting in heavy through uh, Ascari there, so noted. breaking point which is stupid <laughs> ah! not surviving it thought I was gonna survive it I did not survive it wet line is to avoid places where the road will be rubbered in as the oils from the rubber makes it slippery in the rain oh so basically anything that's on the normal line oh Take it out of a whole different line. Interesting. Uh, I've not been doing that. As you can see. And how, okay, kind of. Okay, so that kind of answers. Because I was going to say, like, how extreme are you going with this avoidance? Like, are you literally, like, not apexing shit? Or what? heavy with the throttle like TCS is cutting in hardcore on me let me try to be better You stay norm where, like on the normal line for the most part, but on exit you're trying. I guess because exit you're definitely looking for. Come on, more grip to get out of the corner. How about fourth? Do you like fourth better? Not really. You know, I actually want to turn TCS down there, down just to see. Like, is it over cutting me off or? Turn it down to five. I 
I braked a little late there. Ah, come on. No! Light damage at the front. Light damage at the front. Light damage at the front. Okay, curves are slippery. chat in a second. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, leave the curbs alone. Noted. Severe damage at the front. We have to repair the car. So, the answer to how much is traction control saving me is a lot. Oh shit. Yeah, shit is broken, broken. I can't hardly control the car. Can you see? You can't see your damage. Steer! Well, the body damage physics is, uh... Pretty stiff. A little boring. It was on 7th before. I turned it down too, so I could really get a feel for how it wants to work. So, I have the wheel turned almost 90 degrees to the left right now. <laughs> What's it sound like inside the car? to watch you play Gran Turismo 7? Nah, I might give Kenny early release. Maybe. You definitely don't deserve. Curbs in the rain equal death. Okay, thanks for telling me. I probably should have paid more attention to the first time I learned that lesson. Literally the lap before. It was 6. I, I never streamed 6. I started streaming with the uh, GT Sport. We need to talk when you have the stream off, Tati. Please. How are you finding the frame rate so far? Annoying? Yes, low. slim uh wait 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 because my tire compound definitely says dry y'all better not put no fucking dry tires on my shit be smarter than this mfd start there we go i can't downshift uh Okay. Control is locked. Uh, they're fixing the front. I see. I don't see nobody doing nothing. That's why I was like, am I good to go? It still says stop, so I guess I'm not. How do you break the car in the pits, though? Hey, that's on the crew team. That's on the crew. That's not on me. Five seconds left. Come on, go, go. I thought about doing a burnout, but then I was like, girl, don't don't do a burnout. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So I failed in the objective, which was to have no off-road excursions, off-track excursions. So I'm actually going to go ahead and restart this because I'm obviously out of time to make that happen. <clears throat> we weren't doing too, too bad in the beginning there. So I'm actually pretty confident that I can be all right in it. Uh, maybe not fast. I definitely don't have like a fast pace in the wet, but... Um, I think I can manage to keep it on track. I'll just stay away from the curves, obviously. Give it all you got. Your second test is on the wet conditions. Just focus on setting your best lap in this heavy rain and bring the car back in one piece. When I watch the stream, it doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, like it's not like it's not unplayable, you know. Um, but oh, you ordered a physical copy. Eh, it is what it is. It's not unplayable, and I understand that, like, like Gran Turismo Sport has incentive to be super glossy and pretty and shit like that, and I know that that's not Assetto Corsa's goal here, but um, as we were discussing earlier, it's interesting that they went with this because when you go online and play multiplayer, it's just going to get worse, and at that point, frame drops are an issue, you know? Um, what does Project Cars 2 run at? Because Project Cars PC2 can't be that great either. I'm looking at my PC2 box and it doesn't just say outright that I can see. You think PC2 is 60? Okay. I don't play it that often, so... The graphics look similar, but... I couldn't tell you what the frame rate looks like on PC2. I got the throttle pinned right there. And for what? I could I don't know. I don't know why I had a throttle pinned. Shit. Brakes are cold, remember that? Let me try what would be considered a wet line. Not rubbered in. Coming out of corners. I'm open to any other advice as far as cornering in the wet. Because I just don't know what I'm doing. So I'm totally fine if y'all tell me I'm doing something wrong or if you have a suggestion. Um, let's put up the lap timing tree here. Breaking a straight line, be smooth. Yes, yes. Straight line. Smooth. Oh my god. Give me something, please. TCS, please. There we go. I like that better. You have to be really ginger through there, man. I guess it makes sense. It's a high-speed corner. Fuck. It's like, please whisper on the throttle. I'm learning to whisper on the throttle, y'all. What is happening? Oh, you know what's happening? Remember I mapped tractor control 
that's why it keeps changing. You know this wheel presses buttons whenever it feels like it. Yes, that's exactly what's happening. I'm pressing up and down right now. Because I was wondering why it kept popping up like TCS set to zero. And I'm like, why would it suddenly be set to zero? It's pressing up. Jesus Christ. Fuck, Thrustmaster. <laughs> like, Alright, let me, let me unmap those. I was so confused. I'm like, why does that keep popping up, man? And why is it that... <sighs> okay. Alright. Cool. I don't even really need the ABS increase and decrease. Um, but I don't think left and right... Yeah, rang. TCS zero. Come... <laughs> TCS zero, Kenny, if you notice, right after coming out of the chicane, the first chicane, TCS zero is exactly what I needed in that moment. And so that's what it gave me. Um, I don't think left and right is an issue on it. But um, yeah, I will unmap these two because I don't really use them anyway. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. No. No, you're not understanding what I'm telling you. Leave it alone. No. All right, I'm going to make it left. <laughs> there. Oh, my God. Can I... I don't want to clear all bindings. I'm afraid to press options and clear all bindings. But then that's reset bindings. How do I just get out of this? You know what? There aren't that many bindings. It's fine. If I clear them, I clear them. Let's see. Um, oh, okay. No, that was it. That was it. So let me test that again. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, this I'm actually going to leave unbound because it didn't do anything, quite honestly. Um, let's go back to ignition with circle. And I think I had light. Stages is X um, and look back. Oh, it's already there. What did I accidentally unbind? X and oh, I think circle were the only things. I play Forza and Seven was for the kids. I feel like it forces you into online racing, and the online racing is a headache, endless penalties, and hard tires. Ah, I feel like it has plenty of offline stuff but I don't really do the offline stuff so maybe I could see how you might get tired of it maybe but I mean it was always meant to be an online racing game it was never meant to be a single player game all right and you know while I'm in here actually um, I'm not gonna fuck with it at all actually let's just go I'm gonna restart this since I obviously fucked up right there Hopefully I can find the right traction control setting. I think I'm just going to keep it at 7. It's alright. It looks like GT7 will have the full gamut of offline stuff and the online stuff. I'm so excited about that game. Just, just for the return of like some of the old tracks, you know? Um, and I do see a lot of awesome cars that are going to be in it. I hope that it comes, like I think all of us hope that it comes relatively close to launch. That would be the best thing. If not at launch, then close to it. Give us something. Um, which it wouldn't be all that surprising if they were able to pull it off near launch because we know that GT Sport was kind of a development game for GT7. We know it's going to use a lot of the same assets. Um, oh shit. We know they've been working on these tracks for a while. I mean, I I can't, oh shit Tati, I can't claim to know the development period or whatever, but I can't imagine that 
they aren't already at a good stage of development to where we could realistically expect this game end of 2020 or early 2021. But I could be wrong. I mean, I know, I know having to pool resources to make offline gameplay in um, like career mode stuff in GT Sport was probably an issue. And I think we all remember last year, a year before, when they went back to uh, shit, got to get together. When they went back to the daily races being weekly, because they needed to focus on new cars and stuff like that. We've also not gotten much in the way of new cars and content. So um, I hope that it means that they've been working hard on GT7 and that we'll see it soon. GT7 just looks like GT Sport with career mode, which is what it's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, GT Sport is supposed to be like experimenting and building this this uh, online racing, this multiplayer, this esports part of Gran Turismo. Um, and, it, you know, it was supposed to be just that. And then they added the career mode because people complained and, of course, they wanted the sales or whatever. But GT7 is what is supposed to be like GT Sport plus career mode. I wouldn't mind used race cars in the used section because I mean that's real like you can buy race cars all day long if you want to especially if they're out of class or whatever so I actually wouldn't mind the start of 2020 they said DLC for GTS was going to slow down while they work on GT7 yeah so I hope that that work is actually getting done because we want this game so bad Like, really? I can't give it gas until when? Alright, that's my outlap. more random jump to traction control, whatever the fuck the wheel chooses. Don't touch that curb again. to see more stuff in the reveal yeah for me too I, I i hope like it would be great if we could get a whole fucking event on it right i mean but i know it's not exactly like triple a and they can spend you know six figures on a fucking streaming event just to advertise gt7 right playstation did say simulation mode was coming back to gt7 Hundred RS, uh, the GT edition. Sitting in third as far as lap time goes, which ain't too bad.
okay, and now we're in fifth. But we have about half a second on this lap. More, actually. So, we should get a bit of lap time. I don't know. I don't know what the line is through the sky. Or through the parabolica. Maybe I should go all the way outside from the parabolica. I don't know, man. All track medals. Nice. But my speed is trash. My pace. Let's have one last go for glory here. I can do better. I need to really start considering saving up for a new wheel. A whole new brand. <sighs> that just fucked me. I'm in lip mode. This is all I got. Helmet view. This is... This is what I've got, y'all. Car's coming. Ah. Right? It didn't pause at all. Well, it actually didn't press the PS button. It pressed the... Uh share a button because I saw the broadcast options yeah it doesn't pause in this menu it keeps going wow well there's only one minute left in the session so we'll see what I scored anyway but can I go to the pits is there like a there's return to garage but I don't know if that's gonna I'll just drive out to the last minute. I don't know if that like quits the session, you know? I mean, I know there's a quit, but... Well, you know, let's try it. Fuck it. Fuck it. If I have to do it again, fuck it. Okay. It's just a way to restart yourself. I kept my time. I'm still last. I'm almost a second slower in the first sector than purple. I'm uh, almost two seconds slower in the second sector than purple. Again, over two seconds slower in the third sector from purple. Wow, I am five seconds off the pace. That's, that's huge. That's huge. I need more rain practice. Noted. Only five seconds slower than AI in the rain. This is fine. This is fine. Max wait time. Ugh, come on. Alright, well then I'll just go 
get on track with my cold. Ah! Too hard. Helmet cam. session option I don't see one all I could do is return to the garage um, but in there there was not a there was just quit right or restart so no oh what's this that's its own button what is that oh it I see it gets rid of the uh, giant a set of course of competency on it yeah I'm not sure what that's about um what they're i i'm guessing because somebody one of the ai started their lap um you know before the timer ended Donuts are what we should do. Oh wait, that'll score against me, won't it? Alright, never mind, I can't do that. the end session option. Continue. Continue career. Yep. Didn't do great there. Um, as far as the pace goes. Career points 1,000. Yay. What's this one? Test three. Night driving skills. Okay. Youngster program. Which I belong in. In this dri night driving test, you'll be evaluated based on your fastest lap, but always remember that the first priority is to drive consistently, avoid incidents or cutting the track, be safe out there. Got it. Got it. Got it. As long as I'm back in the dry, I'm happy. Um, right now, we're on the safe preset. I want to try the aggressive one. Let's do Let's go. Let's go. Right? Save it, right? You sure did. Aggressive setup. Let's go. I hope Ellie's still around. Hey, B-Nap. What's good? CC's 
set to five. Of course, feedback is weird. I braked super early there. I guess that's why we're doing a night driving test to see if I'm gonna miss the markers or mistake other things from my braking marker. I don't find it too too bad. It's I mean it's certainly ugly. Don't get me wrong. Uh, breaking distances increased. But um there has been worse. Sorry it's not that clear, it's nighttime. Oh yeah, there's no private servers. They said that's coming though, right? Right early again. Uh, fanatic, exactly, exactly. That's the brand I need to be going with.
I miscalculated. I break the 200. I break the 200. Damn it, Bobby. it I guess return to garage starts me over or what <laughs> I didn't know that I could do that I can roam through all of this I didn't think it would even let me like oversteer like that I thought it would eventually correct it does not it let me went go all the way around I can't go into garages though Okay. Noted. Oh, we're out of time in the street practice. All right, let me try this again. So priority is making sure that I can see my brake markers. Can't really see them that well. Green light, go, go, go. In this night driving test, you will be evaluated based on your fastest lap. But always remember that the first priority is to drive consistently, avoid incidents, or cutting the track. Be safe and have fun up there. This car sounds so good. Just when you get up close to a wall, you hear reflecting back at you. Ugh. I like that. Ugh, you don't have brakes yet. Or tires not time for a fast lap. This is a warm shit up lap. Get it together. I think my lights flash whenever I break, which is interesting. What if I actually 
accidentally map the light flash into my race. It's possible. steering or it's super slow what the hell was that Uh-oh. Ah. Alright. 
I'll have time for another lap. I'm definitely just breaking way too early for turn one. Brakes are up to temp, so I guess that makes sense. I don't know if I'll get another lap in. on the PSN store. Um, it's up there. That's where I got the PSN store from um, yesterday. Or today, rather. It's there already. Look again. I had to type out the whole name to see it, though. Like, I had to type out Assetto Corsa Competizione. Um, can y'all give me a couple of minutes? I'll be right back. It's a quick break.
If it's not in the Danish store yet, we all know whose fault that is. Also, fuck you, Kenny. I'm trying my best, okay? I'm not a sim racing prodigy, okay? I'm not even quick in the sim racer that I play all the time. I'm hot, and I no longer want to be wearing pants. It was cold this morning, so I had on these thick old, like, the pajama pants I sleep in in the wintertime. What I had on. I regret that that decision now. Uh-oh. Did my game freeze, or did it just decide it was done playing this? Okay, we're good. I'm restarting that. Because I'm 6.2 seconds behind the AI. I'm getting hungry, so I probably won't be playing too much longer. We'll see. We'll see how long I decide to last, but I gotta go cook my own lunch. So I hopefully don't stay until I'm starving, and then I have to wait while my lunch cooks. You found it! Yay! Green light. Go, go, go. In this side driving test, you will be evaluated based on your fastest <laughs> priority is to drive consistently to avoid incidents and recording the track. Be safe and have fun out there. Brakes. Not up to temp, Tati. Brakes are not up to temp. Nor are your tires. Can you try to remember this? But everything else is fine. Everything else, fully up to 10. Rip on it. Rip on it! One last hook for the road. One last one.
This lap isn't important anyway. Brakes are still cold. Wait. Yeah. Slap two makes sense. Slap three. Are you fucking kidding me? It was way too early. Oh wait, I was having trouble with the second screen on the first one. Talk to please. I was oversteering through the first half of it. Good times. Still super slow on a lap. Oh, 
why can I get that? <sighs> I don't know why I cannot get that chicane. The breaking for that chicane, right? I really don't. I'm either breaking way too late for it. Or like way too early. Assume it automatically saves. Yeah, career ten percent. Cool. All right, I'll uh come back later with my um the Last of Us two stream. So far, Seto Corsa, um, I haven't gotten very far in it, so I can't tell you exactly how I feel about it. Um, still getting a feel for the driving, obviously. Um, so hopefully I get better. Anyway, see y'all. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. I'm trying to speak English.